Hey guys, OSAGIKIKAS here and welcome back to another video. We are back with another ERB reaction because it's a Saturday and today we are doing Leonidas versus Master Chief. So it's again, it's another earlier one. Um, two great, great warriors, one in space, one on Earth, based relatively around history 300. So yeah, let's get straight into it. Oh, very good start. So yeah, you see him gene up his uh, gene up his army. Obviously, he's king of Sparta. He's gene up his army, getting ready for war. Um, obviously, that's a big part of them. Three hundred. Uh, he's always because he's the king. He's always gene up for war, getting him ready to fight the Persians. But then he says, show this petty officer who's the hardest. So Master Chief's full title is Master Chief Petty Officer John One Seventeen, I believe. So, yeah. He's basically, he's saying petty officer, which is part of his title, but he's also calling him an insignificant, calling him a weaker warrior, calling him petty, like pathetic, just beating him down, but also using his title. So that's a very good, very good starting line. Ooh. Very good line. So there, there you go, saying, I'll toss you like a frag grenade. Obviously, frag grenades is a weapon in Halo. Uh, I'll stomp you in the face. Basically, just saying ways you'll beat him up and toss him about like a little bitch because he's a battle hardened warrior. But then, um, tonight we shall reign in the shade. So this has two meanings. So, Leonidas, the, the starting bit, we'll break it down. So, tonight we shall rhyme. The tonight we shall comes from a very famous quote he says in the movie. He says, Tonight we shall dine in hell. When he's talking about going to battle tonight we shall dine in hell so that's taken off of the speech and a line he says there but um rhyme in the shade there's a mo there's a part in the movie when they've the persian a persian tr like spy comes to the spot and he tells them that the uh the spot the persians are planning to like cover the sun with uh with a wall of arrows so they'll be fighting in the shade they can't see and one of the warriors says, we shall fight in the shade, we don't care, we don't, we'll fight in the shade, we'll fight whatever. Uh, it doesn't matter if they block out all light and make it complete darkness, we shall fight in the shade. So he's saying, we'll rhyme in the shade. He's saying, it's no different, we fought in the shade, we're now rhyming the shade. Some very good lines here. Also as well, with sandals, that's the only footwear they have, they were Greek, uh, the Greek Spartan area age yeah they only had footwear like sandals so there you go <laughs> oh that's amazing so obviously master chief is from halo or uh obviously game on the xbox so he's basically saying all of your fans a fat nerd who spend all day on the xbox playing games playing first person shooters but jerking off to games, giving themselves per first person shooters, basically saying they're jerking off, and when they shoot, it's like a first person shooter, because when they come, it's like the person that's shooting themselves, it's like they their own first person shooter. It's a very good line. And obviously it's ERB, so there's got to be some dick dick references in here. Nice. So obviously he's saying your arm is hard, my abs are harder. Basically just saying how ripped he is, smashing the bottle on him. Great effect. And then the obviously the iconic scene from the movie Three Hundred, when he when he's having that argument, he just goes, "This is Sparta," and he kicks him down the fucking well. And they've got it in. That's such an iconic scene. Even if you haven't seen the movie 300, you've got to have seen that scene. Like, it's so iconic. And they've got it in here. Fantastic. Brilliant. Not so fast. Cortana says wow. you're great. So why stick these lyrics up your ass? <laughs> oh, my God. 
So, let's break that down. So, not so fast. He's obviously saying, don't count me out like that. He's uh, flown back up out of the well. You can't kill him like that. He's he's too powerful. He's too modern era. Uh, so, Cortana, obviously, that's his AI that speaks to him and gives him information about his enemies and stuff. So, he's saying you're... <laughs> Cortana says you're Greek, so stick these lyrics up your ass. So, there's a, there's a term called going Greek, and it's basically... It refers to anal sex, essentially, because obviously the Greeks were very open about homosexuality and things like that. So they, um, they were obviously they were having anal sex because they were open about uh, homo being homosexuals and stuff. So going Greek is like it's like a reference for anal sex and stuff like that. So stick these lyrics up your ass. You're Greek. Leonidas was Greek. So there we go. He's just linking it, linking back to his history and stuff like that. Brilliant. So fast, Cortana says you're Greek. So watch just stick these lyrics up your ass. Stick with a monument to my sins. You're the soldier that needs you to be. Wow. So this has this has a few things. So they built a monument to my sins. Obviously, he has a monument to him in the Museum of Humanity in Halo. The Museum of Humanity. He has a statue to him, praising everything he does. I believe it's Halo Two. I could be wrong there. But yeah, then obviously, um, the Master, but yeah, Master of Your Sins, that's, Master of All Your Sins is from Halo Reach, and it's actually an achievement you get for completing on uh, Legendary Difficulty, which obviously the max level, um, so that's the Master of All Your Sins, and then the Soldier They Need You To Be, that's the lowest ranking Halo Reach, so he's basically saying, I'm this world class, I'm the best I can be. I, I, the best level warrior, and you're just the soldier they need you to be. You're just the lowest rank. You're nothing special, mate. Very good. So watch just stick these lyrics up your ass. Stick with a monument to my sins. You're the soldier they need you to be. Ain't no way that you could be me. You might miss your spell and see. While you and your companions were all camping in the canyon. Took a camping to your house and chilled your queen. My plasma cannon. <laughs> so first off, even my initial still MC, obviously that's someone who's like right um, on the mic, he's having master of ceremonies, microphone controller, multiple things, but yeah, MC is basically saying you've already lost, I'm an MC, my initial spell it. And then he's saying, um, like when you were camp camping in the canyon, so obviously they were waiting for the, um, the Persians in the canyon, but he's saying camping because obviously camping's a video game reference. You wait in the same spot, you kill people over and over again easily because it's hard for them to kill you. But then he says, I'll take a campaign, this campaign's game, to your house and so you'll queen my plasma cannon. So this actually happened when they were out there. Um, Leonardo's wife, Queen, name's gone, name's gone, grow. I think I'm ah, uh, it's gone, but yeah, uh, Theron uh, is like she basically has sex with him so that Leonidas will have help because she knows they're fucked. So she has sex with him for protection, essentially the protection of them and help. So yeah, but then obviously he's saying I'll take a camp into your house and show my queen my plasma cannon. Plasma cannon's a weapon from Halo. It's a dick joke, he's saying I've got a plasma cannon, and he's basically just saying he's going to shag his wife, and looks like King Theron did. Companions were all camping in the canyon, took a camping to your house and chilled your queen, my plasma cannon. They should have thrown your rhymes over the cliff because they're sickly. Ooh, that's a very good line. So they should have thrown your rhymes over the cliff because they're sickly. So Spartan culture, they were very brutal. If a baby had any birth defects, if it was any sickly at all, they just throw it over a cliff. They're like, that's not going to be a hardened warrior. It's not good enough. Um, so they just kill it. They just chuck it over a cliff, have it dead. So he's saying, your rhymes are so shit and sickly, they should just throw them over a cliff like a weak Spartan because they're weak and sickly. You will not enjoy this, but it will be over quickly. Ooh, that's a line that's going to hit hard. So you will not enjoy this. This will be over quickly. So when King Theron rapes his uh, thingy's wife, to quit like um, Leonidas' wife, he says to her before he does it, he goes, you will not enjoy this. No, it will not be over quickly. You will not enjoy this. I am not your king. And it's just to dig it into her before he before he does rape her. But then later on in the film, when it's Ephelites, the traitor for Sparta, 
he actually she actually she steals a blade from someone and she kills him and she stabs him in the back and she says the same thing to him she goes this will not be over quickly this um this will not be over quickly you will not enjoy this i am not your queen so it's a very hard hitting line for him because it's been said to his like his wife but then also she's used it back on another on a trade for sparta so yeah ha, I've had better battles with my six year old son so there we go i've had better battles with my six year old son he's basically disregarding everything his master chief has said and going ha, you're pathetic mate like I've had better battles from a six-year-old son. Now, the age six is very significant in this. So Spartans, like children, aren't considered proper Spartans until they reach the age of seven. So he's saying he's not even a Spartan and I've had better fights with him than you because you're that shit of a warrior. But also, I believe the one who is Master Chief, he was stolen at age six to be taken onto the Spartan program and turned into this warrior and this master like killer so there's a the the age six is very significant there Enjoy this, but it will be over quickly ha, better battles with my six-year-old son i will leave our power when i'm rocking these guns okay <laughs> you're sleeping in a freezer in outer space <laughs> so first off he's saying i don't need i don't need um i don't need guns i've got like i've got russells i've got brawn that's all i need to win and then you sleep in a freezer in outer space so in halo reach um or is it halo 3 it's halo 3 the end of halo 3 um, master chief's abandoned and out of space so he cryogenically freezes himself because he knows he's abandoned and out of space for years so he cryogenically freezes himself so you sleep in a freezer and out of space that's what he's referring to there and i also believe the start of halo reach does have something about him being cryogenically frozen as well don't quote me on that but i believe that's right so yeah obviously uh, he doesn't he doesn't take his mask off master chief so he's like you're too much of a bitch you're too much of a pussy to look me eye to eye look face to face with me show me who you are and fight me like a man without hiding behind your petty little mask yeah he's just basically calling him a flintstone they're from the same era so he's basically they're both from bc's essentially obviously the flintstones the like stone age and leonidas is fucking thousand years after but he's saying they're both from the bc era so he's sort of like saying how old he is whereas master chief is more modern but then yeah so he's recurring to flintstone yeah <laughs> you're too much of a bitch to show your face you got a case of no shirt there fabio flintstone your whole plan got messed up by a hunchback with Downson. oh wow so this is where it gets a bit a bit iffy so oh, your whole plan got messed up by a hunchback with down syndrome so if elites the the one who traded in 300 he's got a hunchback he's got like mental disabilities and it's made to look like he's like he should have been like he even says he should have been killed but his parents broke the law and they did things to, to keep him alive they escaped but yeah he should have been chucked over a cliff he was ill he was sickly they should have just killed him and then he goes on to betray Sparta in the future. But the thing about this is, in actual history, Ephelites wasn't, he wasn't dis disabled at all. He didn't have a hunchback. He didn't have any mental disabilities. He was just a normal dude. So it's a bit weird that that's shown in the thing. Maybe it's just to try and make it feel like more of a betrayal. And like... If that had happened it thing maybe it's just build suspense for the movie but historically the accuracy is not there at all no shirt there fabio flintstone your whole plan got messed up by a hunchback with down syndrome 300 asses need a chicken get more tea bags and lift it <laughs> so yeah um so 300 obviously that's the amount of soldiers uh, Lee and i just had uh, there was 300 of them versus the 10,000 odd persians so he's saying 300 asses need a kiss in and he's basically saying, I'll kick shit out of you all. I'll kill you all myself. And then give more tea bags than Lipton. So teabagging, we all know what it is. Uh, in a game, it's where you crouch over the face because in real life, teabagging is where you put your genitals in someone who's down's mouth. Woman or man. 
So yeah, he's basically saying, I'll give more tea bags than Lipton. Lipton's a tea bag company. And there we go. But yeah, he's just saying, I'll kick the shit out of you all and teabag you all. Because I think Halo really is where teabagging became a thing in gaming. Obviously, you kill someone, you teabag them to mock them. I feel like Halo probably was one of the earlier games to sort of introduce that to the gaming world. By a hunchback with Down syndrome, 300 asses need a chicken. Give more teabags and lift it, so watch and quit your bitching. My trigger fingers itch you. Very good. So yeah, he's just saying, stop bitching about everything that goes wrong. Uh, I'll, my trigger, my trigger finger's itching. Obviously, trigger fingers where you, when you play first person shooters, uh, you've got your, you've got an itchy trigger finger, so, so you can kill the people quick, get them, get the kill before they kill you. So he's like, my trigger finger's itching. Very good. Very good. Let's just see. That's it. Yeah, that was a good one. That was a very good one. So yeah, um, that was that was good. Some very good lines from both sides, but let's get straight into who won. So guys, for me, it is Master Chief who takes the victory today. He had the hard hitting lines. He was he broke down how he was beaten in the movie Three Hundred. He had the lines about his wife being raped by someone else and then being them being betrayed and everything. His heart, his lines hit much harder. Than Leonidas' bars did. Leonidas obviously had iconic lines in there and he had very well thought out lines, but for me, Master Chief has to take the win today. So, guys, if you did like the video, hit like, comment down below your favourite lines, who you thought win, suggestions for future ERBs. There will be another video up on Tuesday and Thursday, and that will be the schedule now, guys. Every Tuesday uh, and Tuesday will be a damn bull, Thursday will be another video, and then every Saturday will be an ERB reaction, guys. So yeah, guys, like I said, if you did enjoy, hit that like button, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.